Yeah, I'm just playing around here trying to get stuff ready for spring, and I have a little problem with this tractor. Glare's going to show it or not, but we got a valve stem leaking. I got the other day I pumped these tires up, checked them, and this one here, the valve stem, the inner stem, broke off in there. So I had to replace the core on this one. And this one over here seemed to be fine. But I noticed here in the last couple days I got it's all wet. And that's because I got calcium chloride in these tires. So what I gotta do is taking the valve stem there is bad in it. So um, getting ready to change it. That's one thing you gotta do. You got calcium chloride. You gotta jack it up. Don't need much, you just need to take the pressure off of it. Because right now these tires are filled oh up at least to here somewhere. And if you let the air out and it goes down, it's gonna spray that calcium out. So you gotta jack it up and take the pressure off. So it's gonna blow out some here. That ain't good. Valve stems out and it didn't rush no air. Let's we'll see here, I got a screw of some sort here. Yeah. I might have more of a problem than I think. Take a screw and poke in there. I shouldn't do that. Just wonder if I got a hole in the tube and now I got calcium outside the tube in the tire. Something ain't right. I might be screwed. Put the new stem in there. Now it's not. Oh, crap. Well, something ain't right there. I think what I got is I got al cal calcium outside the tube, between the tire and the tube. And it's leaking. It ain't leaking around the stem, it's leaking from up around that nut. Oh, crap. Yeah, well, there's gonna be about $90 for a tube, or $100 for whatever it is, and a hundred and some dollars to pump it and change it. So I don't have the tool or calcium or to pump to pump it out and oh shoot oh well hopefully I'll hold for tonight this is the other project I got to do get my jack changed I screwed up the one day and didn't lift the jack up and I bent this foot well, I took right now this is the foot that's off my hay rake so I could use this jack 
but I'm gonna have to have a jack for my hay rake and you can't buy just that foot so you gotta buy a whole new jack and that's two hundred and two hundred and twenty three dollars this stupid little jack which makes no sense I don't know why they wouldn't have parts for it and why them jacks are so much because that's the exact same jack that's been on every spreader that I can ever think of from New Holland so but that's no big deal I mean just take this one bolt out and looks like I gotta bend this bend these flanges back some they look like they're sprung out but but I gotta do that so I can get my be able to hook up my hay rake so yeah it's just some of the stuff I'm playing with today I tried to get the discs ready and I found I got a bearing out I ain't gonna be able to see it but that's part of the inner seal right there but that's out and how it is I'm pretty sure I got two bearings it takes three per gang and like I say if I'm gonna tear this I really wanted to desperate which I might hear yet I can just change that one bearing the other two are good Let's see if I, but this these are all sealed bearings on that gang. Every other one, I've replaced all the bearings at some point, and they're all greasable bearings now. But uh, that gang, I've never done yet. I have to look. I'm pretty sure I only got two bearings. So that's all I have to decide because there's only one place I can get these bearings. And hopefully they'll have one in stock. If they got one in stock, I'll go get it and change all three of them. If they don't have one in stock, I think I'm just going to drop this off and just change this one bearing. But next thing, I don't think we're going to be doing anything here anytime soon. I mean, this is here in the yard. Still got water setting. So... Yeah, looks like I just thought. I'll show you a neat puzzle piece. If I have to take this whole gang apart, I'll, I'll show you. I don't know if it's ingenious or not, but it's it's almost a Rubik's cube to put them back together. It'll boggle your mind. So hopefully, I got all three bearings, or can get them, and I'll change it. But I'm gonna pump up the tires on this now and fix that bearing, and these will be ready to go. And then I got. Put new points, shins, and land sides on the plow yet. And I need to get that disc bind ready. If it's gonna stay with it like this, I got that hay down to my cousins. I want to get mowed off, so hopefully I can get some decent hay down there. So but might have a new problem for tomorrow then. Tomorrow. So we'll see here how bad this leaks. I might have to... Gonna have to have somebody come in here tomorrow anyhow, but hopefully it'll last tonight. So I, I got a clean barn here, so... Yep, thanks for watching. We'll catch you later.